Ian Robertson is tackling two epic walks. I'm determined to make it coast to coast. <laughs> and there will be lots of ups and downs. Oh. Well, this is wild. I'm smitten with this place. Oh my goodness. You really cannot do any better than this. Ian Robertson rambles. Press red to watch on BBC iPlayer. Well, the latest stories need from home and abroad now as we join Martin Geisler and Laura McKeever for The Nine. Tonight, fears of an even bigger backlog in our courts as lawyers boycott some domestic abuse cases. As part of a growing dispute over legal aid fees, we'll ask a lawyer at the heart of it if it can be resolved. Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla, takes over Twitter in a £34 billion deal. We're live in Silicon Valley. Steve Coogan's bringing Alan Partridge back to Scotland. I've been talking to him about his new show, Scottish Independence, and the row over Angela Rayner. The best kind of pressure is the indignation of people at that attitude. The newspapers will only change if they think it will it'll affect, it'll affect them commercially. Coming up in the sport, two former gymnasts accuse their top British coach of mistreatment. As it's revealed, she was pulled from Team GB's coaching squad weeks before the Tokyo Olympics. And later, Tony Blair's former spin doctor, Alistair Campbell's on the sofa with his bagpipes to play Ukraine's national anthem. Don't worry, we will explain why. Welcome to the night. When you're accused of a crime, you have the right to legal representation. It's the most fundamental part of our justice system. But from next Tuesday, people accused of some forms of domestic abuse might struggle to find someone to represent them, and that could lead to more delays in our courts. It's because the majority of Scotland's defence lawyers are about to start boycotting many cases brought under the 2018 Domestic Abuse Act. That act criminalised psychological domestic abuse and coercive and controlling behaviour. The problem, lawyers say, is that those cases are complex and they're time-consuming. And, they argue because of that, they ought to command higher legal aid fees. That's when the government steps in to cover the costs for the accused. It's the latest action in a long-running and escalating dispute on the matter. We'll be asking a leading lawyer if the profession will back down. After this, from our Home Affairs correspondent, David Cowan. I felt like I was going mad. No one else could see what 